about to talk and I talk and I talk and I talk, but guess what? I back it up. They know who's running the game, so any chance they get, they mention my name. The whole roster wants a piece. And the whole roster will get a piece. Introducing the notorious one! Starts now. In my eyes, Jose's gone running. If he wants to come back, he can come back, but I swear to God, his day will come. All right, start around one Jose Aldo versus Conor McGregor. Here we go. Whoa! He knocks out Jose Aldo! has always wanted to be a multiple division world champion. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get them two belts, take out two divisions. If anyone can do it, it's me. You're blessed that I chose you. You're blessed that I chose to whoop your ass next. It's time! Two great world champions. Oh UFC history. New York. I'm gonna wrap one on one shoulder. I'm gonna wrap the other on the other shoulder. Champion. I dreamed into reality. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks good. God bless. While most people believe Conor McGregor's next fight will be in defense of his lightweight title, but against whom? That's the question. He's got 10 wins in a row. He's the obvious choice for the next challenger. For Conor McGregor versus Tony Ferguson. That's the most relevant. Conor McGregor, Tony Ferguson. Let's unify these belts and give the fans the fight they want to see. Where are you at, Big Nugget? should have a willing dance partner tonight. Tony Ferguson has been on an absolute roll. Neither man has ever been knocked out. Both chins figure to be tested here tonight. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. Tell the tape for this lightweight scrap. Ferguson is four years the elder. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Well, been hashtag defend or vacate Conor McGregor defending his UFC lightweight championship here tonight against Tony Ferguson. Maybe Ferguson didn't think this fight would happen. Asking you shall receive. Let's see who the better man will be here tonight. A lot of different expectations and philosophies as to how these fighters were going to approach this fight here tonight. Conor McGregor's going to try to test that chin of Tony Ferguson. We have seen lesser strikers than McGregor find their range against Ferguson, and Conor believes if he lands the... ...money shot here tonight. It could be a good night for Kukui on the other side. Ferguson... His endurance, his cardio, the stuff of legend. Let's see if he can extend McGregor into deep waters, into the ladder rounds here tonight, and try to take advantage of his edge and grab. Nice sweep. Moves into full mount. Awesome control from the top. He's working from half guard now.
Three minutes to go here, round one. With conviction to the body. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. El Kukui gets absolutely punished by that hit. That's a nice clean shot. McGregor gets tagged by that kick. That can't feel real good, Joe. All of those are blocked. Conor McGregor gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. That one hurts. Nice hook there. Starts to get the combination going with the fist. There's another one. McGregor gets hit with a kick. Hit oh, him hard with that hook. Oh, we'll see oh, if it can nice. it Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he lands a huge right hand. This could be it right here. Oh, big left. Really a, a terminator quality, though, to Tony Ferguson. Eats these shots and just keeps moving forward. Boom. Shin to the dome. Big power oh, shot there. The Another highlight for the real. Tries to move to half guard, but can't. <laughs> 20 seconds to go in round one. And he landed the right hand there. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Oh, oh. Cover, okay, I want you to go out there this round and I want you to Let's take a look at some of the action from that round and there's a nice head kick that lands And here's another head kick Some really Here you go, second round, you ready? You ready? Second All right, round two This is gonna become one of those things where you're just wondering what's what's the opponent going to be able to do to him. Not even whether or not he's going to win, but what's his opponent going to be able to do to him. Lands that kick to the head. Nice jab there, Joe. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's going to be busy. Excellent defense here. Really good job blocking all those shots coming at his head. That shot blocked by McGregor. Oh, big shot. Good exchange there. Oh, right left combo by McGregor. Diaz gets caught with that punch. And speed, man. Well, once again, he gets flipped up top, Joe. And again, he continues to show that vulnerability, leaning into his opponent's offense. Got to figure out a way to make the adjustments, change up the tempo, and get that head off the center line. Whoa. Boy, he's swinging now. Diaz's uppercut is blocked. Wow! Oh! This could be it right here. Oh, he might be out. Some outstanding ground and pound to get the opponent out of there. He was throwing big shots there on the ground, man. Not just looking to score, but actually looking to end the fight and to make sure the judges stayed firmly out of this equation. Elbows, punches, hammer fist, everything seemed to be working for him here tonight. Caught him right there, had him in all sorts of trouble. Check it out here. Boom! And then he's out. So there he is, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. What a finish he turned in here tonight as he gets it done by way of knockout. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official Ariel decision. Is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, 21 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. And still, the undisputed UFC welterweight Champion of the world, the 
So there he is, the man they are all still chasing at 170 pounds. The undisputed UFC welterweight champion remains as such and does so by way of the knockout here tonight. A great moment for the corner there as you see them start to celebrate. What an opportunity seized.